Hi, my name is Manu Vasudevan from the AWS by Doing team. Welcome to this educational video series, AWS by Doing, wherein you can learn AWS cloud computing by following along with an AWS certified solutions architect. We acknowledge and thank the official AWS documentation material, which we have used to produce this educational video. Although we will try to keep all resources consumed eligible for the free tier, ensuring that you are not charged or minimizing your charges is your responsibility. To minimize charges, remember to delete all created chargeable resources after each session. This time, we will walk you through a hands-on lab on create an SQS queue, send a message to the SQS queue, receive and delete a message from the SQS queue, subscribe the SQS queue to an SNS topic, view a message from the SNS topic in the SQS console, purge the SQS queue, and delete the SQS queue. Estimated cost for this hands-on? No charge as SQS queue is free to your eligible. Prerequisite AWS skill level? Beginner with general understanding of AWS SQS concepts. To set up a free tier eligible AWS account and a user with sufficient permissions, check out our video on Create Admin User. To begin, fire up a browser, preferably Google Chrome, and head to aws.amazon.com. Sign in to the AWS Management Console as a user with administrator credentials. Sign in to the Amazon SQS Console. Choose Create New Queue. On the Create New Queue page, ensure that you're in the correct region and then type the queue name. The name of a FIFO queue must end with the .fifo suffix. Standard is selected by default. Choose FIFO. Create your queue. To create your queue with the default parameters, choose Quick Create Queue. To configure your queue's parameters, choose Configure Queue. When you finish configuring the parameters, choose Create Queue. Your new queue is created and selected in the queue list. When you create a queue, it can take a short time for the queue to propagate throughout Amazon SQS. The queue type column helps you distinguish standard queues from FIFO queues at a glance. For a FIFO queue, the content-based deduplication column displays whether you have enabled exactly once processing. Your queue's name, URL, and ARN are displayed on the Details tab. Let us create a standard queue also. Sending a message to an Amazon SQS queue. Sign into the Amazon SQS console, and if you're already there, from the queue list, select a queue. From queue actions, select send a message. The send a message to queue name dialog box is displayed. To send a message to a FIFO queue, type the message body, the message group ID, and the message deduplication ID, and then choose send message. The message group ID is always required. However, if content-based deduplication is enabled, the message deduplication ID is optional.
Your message is sent and the send a message to QName dialog box is displayed showing the attributes of the sent message. Choose close. Receiving and deleting a message from an Amazon SQS queue. Sign into the Amazon SQS console and if you're already there, from the queue list, select a queue. From queue actions, select view delete messages. The view delete messages in queue name dialog box is displayed. The first time you take this action, an information screen is displayed. To hide the screen, choose don't show this again. Choose start polling for messages. Amazon SQS begins to poll the messages in the queue. The dialog box displays a message from the queue. A progress bar at the bottom of the dialog box displays the status of the message's visibility timeout. When the progress bar is filled in, the visibility timeout expires and the message becomes visible to consumers. Before the visibility timeout expires, select the message that you want to delete and then choose delete one message. In the delete messages dialog box, confirm that the message you want to delete is checked and choose yes delete check messages. The selected message is deleted. Select close. To, cre to create a topic using the AWS Management Console, sign in to the Amazon SNS Console. Do one of the following. If no topics have ever been created under your AWS account before, read the description of Amazon SNS on the homepage. If topics have been created under your AWS account before, on the navigation panel, choose Topics. In the Create Topic section, enter a topic name. For example, My Topic. Choose Create Topic. The topic is created and the My Topic page is displayed. The topic's name, ARN, optional display name, and topic owner's AWS account ID are displayed in the detail section. Copy the topic ARN to the clipboard. To subscribe an existing Amazon SQS queue to an existing Amazon SNS topic, sign in to the Amazon SQS console. From the list of queues, choose the queue or queues to which you would want to subscribe an Amazon SNS topic. From Queue Actions, select Supri Subscribe Queue to SNS Topic or Subscribe Queues to SNS Topic. The Subscribe to a Topic dialog box is displayed. From the Choose a Topic drop down list, select an Amazon SNS topic to which you want to subscribe your queue or queues. Select the topic region, optionally, and then choose Subscribe. Typing a different topic ARN is useful when you want to subscribe a queue to an Amazon SNS topic from an AWS account other than the one you use to create your Amazon SQS queue. This is also useful if the Amazon SNS topic isn't listed in the Choose a Topic drop-down list. The Topic Subscription Result dialog box is displayed. Review the list of Amazon SQS queues that are subscribed to the Amazon SNS topic and choose OK. The queue is subscribed to the topic. Test the topic's queue subscriptions. You can test a topic's queue subscriptions by publishing to the topic and viewing the message that the topic sends to the queue. To publish to a topic using the Amazon SNS console. Using the credentials of the AWS account or IAM user with permission to publish to the topic, sign in to the AWS management console and open the Amazon SNS console.
On the navigation panel, choose the topic and choose Publish to Topic. In the subject box, enter a subject, for example, testing published to Q. In the message box, enter some text, for example, hello world, and choose publish message. The following message appears. Your message has been successfully published. To view the message from the topic using the Amazon SQS console. Using the credentials of the AWS account or IAM user with permission to view messages in the queue, sign into the AWS management console and open the Amazon SQS console. Check the box for the queue that is subscribed to the topic. From the queue action dropdown, choose View Delete Messages and choose Start Polling for Messages. A message with a type of notification appears. In the body column, choose more details. The message details box contains a JSON document that contains the subject and message that you published. Choose close. You have successfully published to a topic that sends notification messages to a queue. Purging messages from an Amazon SQS queue. Sign into the Amazon SQS console. From the queue list, select a queue. From queue actions, select purge queue. The purge queue's dialog box is displayed. Choose yes, purge queue. All messages are purged from the queue. The purge queue's confirmation dialog box is displayed. Choose OK. To delete an Amazon SNS subscription and topic using the AWS Management Console, sign in to the Amazon SNS Console. On the navigation panel, choose Subscriptions. On the Subscriptions page, choose a Confirm Subscription and then choose Delete. You can't delete a pending confirmation. After three days, SNS deletes it automatically. In the Delete Scrip Subscription dialog box, choose Delete. The subscription is deleted. On the navigation panel, choose Topics. On the Topics page, choose a topic and then choose Delete. When you delete a topic, you also delete all subscriptions to the topic. On the Delete Topic My Topic dialog box, enter Delete Me and then choose Delete. The topic is deleted. Deleting an Amazon SQS queue. Sign in to the Amazon SQS console. From the queue list, select a queue. From queue actions, select delete queue. The delete queue's dialog box is displayed. Choose yes, delete queue. The queue is deleted.
Thanks for watching! Please give a thumbs up to this video to encourage us, and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, subscribe to this channel, AWS by Doing, and we will update you regularly with our latest and greatest offerings. Write in a comment of what you liked and how we can improve. Happy cloud computing, and we will see you again in the next episode from the AWS by Doing team.